we just had a tough week. G-Shock tough week. Right? <laughs> just slap it on. Let's begin with the December releases. We now have the first hands-on unboxing of the new GM2100MG with its special rocket ship case. Shock Today in Malaysia has 16 in stock ready to go. If you live in Malaysia and want one of these hot models, go right away and grab one before it sells out. Links on the description below. Next is the GA2100HT which is a limited edition collaboration that commemorates the 40th anniversary of the career of Japanese guitarist and musician Ho Tei. This one will retail at 22,000 yen and comes with a commemorative case. Then we will have a couple of new matte red G-Shocks. The GBA900RD is a modern Anadigi model with a Bluetooth connected feature and step counter. This will release at the same time as the GBD200RD. This model line has an MIP LCD display, Bluetooth connection, and advanced training features. And finally, the MTG-B1000CX, the China Limited release, is confirmed to be launching in China early December with a limited edition packaging. It also is now expected to have a wider release at a later date. Check out our full review of this new model here on the top. Let's now look ahead to January with some releases from the Mudmaster line, the GWG 2000 TLC in collaboration with Toyota Autobody's team Land Cruiser. It will feature a custom digital print on the bezel and strap along with the carbon fiber reinforced parts. This will be released in Japan in January 2022, 110,000 yen. We're already looking into January with some very nice looking G-Shock colorways. A new series with camo displays will be released in two different models. There's the GA2100 version with a gray body and first ever camo dial on a Casio Oak. And then the iconic DW5600 will have two variant colors in slate blue and off-white camo. These three have unique color hues, so if you're a camouflage pattern fan, you have choices to match most of your outfits. Although I wonder why they didn't make a green model. Come on Casio, green camo Casio O. It's just a no-brainer. Let's close out this episode with a viewer highlight. David sent an image of his AWM collection and it's simply glorious. David says, Hi Jason, first of all, I would like to thank you for your comment and the first class content you place on YouTube. Here is the picture of the 5 AWM500 with a guest appearance from the GMW B5000 TVA 1JR, which I recently purchased to commemorate my 60th birthday. The AWM-500D-1AER is an amazing and versatile G-Shock which works with any outfit for any occasion. In my opinion, I would consider it to be Casio's version of the Rolex Explorer. Keep up the good work and I and all your subscribers look forward to more content. Regards, David. Thanks again to David for sending that in. Now, if you want your own collection to be featured in the show, just send it to the email on the description below. Dane, I'm late. But I haven't forgotten. <laughs>